Morning everyone. So this week uh, we're on fish, basically, for our uh, first demonstration. And I'm going to show you a skill that you've done before, but we're going to recap, and that's filleting the fish. So in front of me here, I've got a place. I can tell it's a place because it's got orange spots clearly marked. And obviously I've done all the usual quality checks. I've checked it for smell. I've checked to make sure the whole fish intact. I've checked the gills to make sure they're the right color. I've checked that it's firm to the touch. And I've checked that all the markings are clear. Okay, so to me this is a good quality fish. I've also got myself set up with a blue board, a waste bowl, and I've got all the equipment that I need just at the side of me here. So I've got a fish filleting knife, I've got a stiff bladed knife and I've got a pair of scissors as well. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is snip off the fins. The fins, remember, we're going to use uh, to make a fish stock. Okay, it's part of the task this week as well, but to make a fish stock. So off they come. Really nice sharp pair of scissors. And these parts that I'm snipping off can all be used in the stock. Nothing gets wasted at all. Okay, so let's get rid of all that to start off with. And remember that the fin underneath as well, that just needs to come off there. There's no scales on these fish to come off because uh, they're really, really fine on a flat fish. You can hardly tell them there at all. So first cut that we make, remember, comes around the head. Okay, so a little bit of an oval cut to start off with. And then there's a really, really fine, faint line down the back of the fish there. I'm going to make the second cut right down that line. That's exactly where its spine is. Okay, and that goes right to the bottom. And then I'm going to just swap all the knives and go to this fish filleting knife. And then start to move the knife down the cut that I've made, just scraping away at the bones. And as I said, it helps to have a really, really sharp knife <clears throat> so that you get a really, really nice clean cut. Okay, so that first fillet comes off fairly easily, like so. Okay. Then the second cut, virtually the same sort of technique. I'm just going to take off that first part there and then, as I said before, all I'm doing is just scraping away at the fish and just really, really teasing it away from the rib bones. It comes away really, really easily if you're uh, nice, nice and sharp. And again, fold that fillet back over and then slide that fillet off. On here, we've got a little bit of the row as well, which I'm gonna remove slightly. It's only really, really small because they're not really spawning at the moment. So we're quite lucky that way and then turn the fish over and back out with the stiff knife again. And you can't see it quite so clearly here, but there's a really fine line goes right down the back. That's the line that I'm gonna follow with the knife. And I'm just cutting through the flesh, not through the bone. And then again, an oval cut around the head. Okay, so back with the filleting knife and then just cutting into that first cut that I've made. Just again, really, really simply, all we're doing is just teasing the fish away from the bones. These bottom fillets are a little bit more difficult to get off. They're just uh, a little bit less flesh on them, so not quite so meaty. Just need a little bit more precision, uh, which can be quite difficult. Okay, so. Again, pull the flap of skin back over and then slide the fillet down. Okay, so for this next fillet that comes off, a little cut across and then again just teasing the meat away just with the tip of the knife. And again you can see that blackish part there is the fish roll. Lots and lots of uh, eggs in there that we're not going to use. We do need to remove it. Okay, so that leaves us with our skeleton of the fish, which I'm just gonna chop its head off. We'll use that in the stock, and then put 
cut these ribs into smaller parts so that everything fits in the pan nice and easily. So that's part of our fish stock ingredients. Now we've got these parts here that just need to be removed. We might be able to just pull them out with our fingers. They should just sort of peel off. Okay, that goes into the waste bowl as well. And then these other fillets, these are absolutely fine at the moment. And we're gonna skin them and we're gonna shape them. Okay, so peel off that little bit of raw there. And then it's on to the skinning process. So really, really straightforward with the skinning. Just make sure that there's no bone left in there at all. And then as usual with skinning, we hold on to the tail, a little bit of a cut into the flesh, and then grab hold of the tail skin again. And all I'm doing is letting the knife do the work, sliding the skin from side to side. You see the knife hardly moving at all. And the skin comes away. There should be hardly any hardly any flesh left on there at all. And then I'm just gonna trim off this little